hi everyone this is lesson 5 part b and in this video let's cover exam relevant content with regards to dipped headlights and main beam dipped headlights this is of course the most preferred way of driving because this cause less harm to others so it doesn't dazzle others this is used to illuminate about 30 meters of the road okay and this is used when the visibility is less because of darkness because of low light or twilight twilight means the sun is setting or because of fog or rain you should mandatorily switch this on when you are in a tunnel okay this is the indication uh, inside your dashboard okay now let's look at main beam or high beam this is used to illuminate beyond the range of your deep headlights which is 30 meter so this illuminates around 100 meter this is definitely not the preferred way because this dazzles the oncoming traffic so it's always recommended to use dipped headlights while driving at night and hence you don't use it while you're behind another vehicle yeah uh, and this is how it is uh, seen uh, in your dashboard now let's cover some questions what must you observe when you enter a tunnel? Switch fog headlamps? No, right? We just saw in the lessons. It's drive with your dipped headlights on also during the day. And yes, take off your sunglasses. That's also recommended for safety. So that's the right answer. Let's go to the next question. Which basic code of conduct must you observe in a tunnel? Do not make a U-turn. Yes. Follow the instruction and information from a tunnel personnel? Yes. Drive with dipped headlights? Yes. That's the correct answer? Yes. Let's move on. During daylight to enter a lit tunnel marked like this, what do you do? I switch on the side lights? No. I switch on the dipped headlights? Yes. I do not have to switch the lights? No. So I switch the dipped headlights. Right? Okay. Okay. Let's look at this question. What adversely affects road safety here? Let's look at the image. Uh, it's very foggy. Let's see the options. What would affect poor visibility? Yes. Reduced grip of the tires on the wet roadway? Yes. The dipped headlights of an oncoming traffic? No, it will not impact the safety. It will actually support the safety. Okay. That's our answer. And that's the right answer. Okay. Let's go ahead. What must you do on encountering sudden dense fog they are driving at daytime? Only switch on parking lights? No. Adapt speed immediately to the visibility conditions? Yes. Switch on dipped headlights? Yes. Right? Let's continue. You are driving on a country road in darkness and rain and encounter oncoming vehicles with dipped headlights. What must you remember? You can avoid possible dazzle by switching on full beam. No, full beam produces dazzles. You can be dazzled by reflections on the wet road. Yeah, this could happen. Your wind, your wet windscreen can result in your being dazzled. Yes, this could also happen. Okay, this is the right answer. And yes, that's correct. Go ahead. You're driving in darkness on well-constructed main road using your dipped headlights. Within what distance must you be able to stop? Okay. And this is always, just remember, this is always within the range of the dipped headlights. Yeah, that's the right answer. Mm -hmm. Let's move forward. You're driving at night on an unlit road. There is a motor vehicle traveling a short distance in front of you. Which lights must you have on? It's an unlit road. But because there is a vehicle right in front of you, it's always the dipped headlights. Okay, that's all and move forward. What must you, when must you use dipped headlights also during the day? When visibility is considerably reduced by misted windscreen? No, if you have a misted windscreen, you should just unmist it. Uh, by fog or falling snow? Yes by rain yes so yes that's the right answer let's move on when do you have to switch on your dipped headlights when driving through tunnel yes during twilight yes 
when it is dark yes i think we covered this in our lessons solve next what can be the consequence of wrongly setting the headlamp leveling control the life cycle of the light bulb for the headlights may be reduced no it's not it's not the case that if you if the leveling is not correct it's not impacting your headlights the oncoming traffic may be dazzled by my dipped headlights yes my car's headlamp range may be too short yes that could also happen if you are not leveling your headlamp correctly that's all that's the correct answer why must you also drive with dipped headlights during the day when visibility is impaired by fog rain or falling snow so that you can drive at higher speed no so that you can see traffic signs at greater distance no so that you will be easily seen by other road users yes that's the right answer okay and that's the purpose of dipped headlights that we that we discussed before so that's the right answer okay now let's look at this question you're driving in the dark with dipped headlights oncoming traffic flash their headlights at you what can this mean yeah i think this you know right if an oncoming flash car is flashing it's because he is trying to say something or oh, let's see what the options are other drivers are telling you to turn on your main beam no definitely not it will even dazzle them more the headlines the headlamps on your lamp vehicle are set incorrectly and are dazzling yes so they are trying to say something that probably something is wrong in your vehicle so this is one option the light range adjustment is not adapted to your vehicle load yes this could be the answer and uh, yes that's the right answer okay now let's look at some questions with respect to main beam lights what risk could you arise could arise if you drive with your main beam lights on wild animals on the road will be dazzled and will remain stationary in the light beam yes this could happen stationary vehicles on my side of the road will not be detected until it is too late no that's a main beam it has visibility up to 100 meter okay so no problem of not being detected oncoming road users will be dazzled yes okay this is something which you know continue driving at night time on a rural road you see persons on your side of the road what do you do if you are dazzled by an oncoming vehicle okay you are dazzled and there are there are pedestrians on the road i reduce my speed and look towards the right hand side of the road yes i stop if necessary i turn on my main beam lights no you will not do that okay you just you cannot just switch on your main beam light which will dazzle the oncoming traffic solve that's the right answer you're driving with main beam lights on in darkness when do you have to dip your headlights if there are pedestrians in front moving in the same direction no when vehicle is oncoming yes when a vehicle is driving close in front yes okay if there are pedestrians walking in that same direction it might not impact them right okay so all that's the correct answer you are driving in main beam lights on in darkness when do you have to dip your headlights if i am required to wait at rail crossing and dazzling others yes if there are pedestrians moving in the same direction in front of you no if i am driving on a road with constant adequate lighting yes so all this is the correct answer yeah i think now it's becoming straight forward thank you so much for watching see you in the next video please share if this was helpful